my predictions, uh, I'll walk through my predictions. I see a growing emphasis on the energy efficiency of communications and compute. And this is, I see as the driving factor for the proliferation of photonics everywhere. My predictions for 2022 are the following. I expect to see fully functional co-packaged prototypes from various providers in 2022. They may be disguised as pluggable solutions, but the guts of the electro-optic solution will be usable for co-packaged optics. There's an interesting dynamic where we're seeing solutions provided by module providers, that is vendors selling EO solutions and ASIC providers developing competing solutions. And I think the EO providers will get to the finish line sooner. This will probably drive some consolidation in 2023 and who buys whom will depend on who gets to the prototype finish line first. My second prediction is that with the proof points of the silicon co-packaged optic solutions, I do expect that OSATs will also get onto the bandwagon of providing competing packaging solutions, competing and complete packaging solutions such as fiber attach and die attach. OSATs at this point have taken sort of a wait and see approach uh, to see how the market develops and the prototypes above will be a tipping point. I suspect that contract manufacturing model will become extremely challenged due to the complexity of packaging and the high cost. My third prediction is based on publications from Nia Margulit of uh, Broadcom and YK Chen of the DARPA T Music program, where they've talked about what I term as sort of the Moore's law of photonics. And they talk about extremely high levels of integration possible with silicon photonics. And I expect to see some killer apps or killer performance in the area of photonic computing, which takes advantage of these high levels of integration. In this area, while we may not see fully baked silicon solutions, there will be sufficient proof points to indicate the viability of these solutions. The production viability of the micro ring modulators will be a key enabler towards this effort. So those are my three predictions.